All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, turn these numbers into really detailed reports with your students really, really easily. Um, whenever I mark work, I, I try to provide as much detail as I can for my students without actually making additional work for myself. Uh, I think that's a smart thing to do. Um, for this system to work, all you need to do is really think about what comments you could give for your students. Now, I've given you up to 10 different comments. I think that's more than enough. Very rarely do I ever have to use more than four comments. Um, and all your, Literally, this is a comment bank. So you have your comments in here, um, comment one, comment two, comment three, comment four for task one, same thing for task two, and so on. And I've given you up to 10. I've got them ranging in um, you know, one being cold, like in Alps, to 10 being hot. Um, you know, that's the kind of, well, actually in Alps it's the other way around, but it's still, the colours match up, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can play around with the colour scheme if you want. So, on my tracker, I think, right, who, who are my students? Um, when I'm out there work, I think, right, what are the criteria? I kind of, in a comment box, I put the criteria up at the top here, uh, you know, right click, edit comment, and you can change the comments however you want. Um, this is a kind of a refresher for me. Um, and then as I go through, I just add the comments, um, and you can see that at the moment they're, they're ranging in colour um, from 1 to 10. Oh, and I've got the 0 in there because you want that to be super blue um, because that's the lowest. And I just use that colour code just to kind of like help me get an idea of the, you know how well my students are doing. Um, it's up to you how, you how you colour code it. If you want to change it, literally just highlight these cells. Go to conditional formatting, manage rules, and um, edit the rule, and you can choose your different colour scheme. Totally up to you. Uh, again, if you want to add new, new, more comments, just increase the number here. You'll have to do the same thing for the comments. But for the purpose of this, literally for the beginner, mark the work, give them a, a number that relates to a comment, save the uh, save the file. And then what you're going to want to do is open up your reports template. This is just a Word file. Um, you go to mailings, select the recipients, choose an existing list, find your file. Um, so mine is in, uh, not there, that one. Find my report master, select the mail merge uh, tab, click OK. And now what we want to do is add the student name. So we're going to insert a merge field. There's the surname, comma, add the uh, forename, close that. Mine's gone pink, I didn't really want that to happen, so I'll just get rid of the bold, make it black, that's fine. Go to my target grade section, back to mailings, uh, insert merge field, this is my target grade, merge field, wag, Again, if it changes the colour, you know, just do what you need to do. Um, don't want that bold either. Okay, so this is my task one section for comment. I click in the, the right area. Again, I'm just going to go to mailings. Oops, wrong one. Uh, ah, insert mesh field, task one. Insert mesh field, task two. Task three. Task four, task five, and task six. And now I'm good to go. All I need to do, preview the responses. I now have my personalized um, report for each student. I can print them off, go to finish and merge, print individual documents or print all of them, and it will print the entire uh, class set for you. And just from marking with numbers, you can generate incredibly detailed reports. So I hope you find that useful. It's my gift to you. Um, yeah, bye.